It's hard to believe November is coming to an end, and now we're heading into December, and I've got the snow tie on because I think we're in for a snowy pattern as we head into December. You've got to get the cold before you get the snow, and everything that I'm looking at is showing that. We're going to take a look at that in detail today. We're going to talk about what I think is going to pan out. We're looking for the patterns in the weather, not necessarily a specific storm, although we will look at the medium to long-range models here in just a moment. Thanks for checking this video out today, guys. This is, again, different than our normal video that I put out. This is looking in at the long range. A daily forecast comes out from me every day, so if you'd like to subscribe, hope you'll come back and check those out. If you're new, I'm a former chief meteorologist on television. I did that for several years, but now just these videos here on YouTube as time allows. Now, this is the cold that we're seeing across the east with a broad cyclonic flow around an upper low that's spinning up here across Canada a big ridge across the west. This is going to keep our temperatures well above average as we head into December. And if you look at NOAA's 8 to 14 day temperature outlook, clearly showing the cold in the east and the warm weather across the west, this would be valid December 7th through the 13th. And it's during that time period of transition, I think we've got to watch for some kind of storm that might form and move up the east coast. It's still way too early to tell, but again, we're looking at the pattern and you've got to have that before you get the storm. We're seeing that ridge here continue in the west. It's no wonder that the uh, Climate Prediction Center is keeping us above average here. Also, all the way up into Alaska, we're going to be warm here too, relative to the first week of December. Cold in the east, and look, this cold air, if you follow these height lines, you can trace them all the way up into the Arctic. So cold air in place, multiple rounds of snow too, especially in and around the Great Lakes. This is the GFS ensembles. I think there will be multiple chances for snow, and embedded in this could be a heavier snow or two. Still to be determined on that. A lot of cold air that's just building up here across western Canada, also into the Northwest Territories, into Alaska, and over into Siberia too. A lot of that is moving across the North Pole. We're seeing some of that even now moving across the Great Lakes where we're getting a lot of lake effect snow. These waters are way above average. That's creating a lot of instability. It's one of the reasons we're even seeing some thunder snow this weekend off of Lake Erie and Lake Ontario. With that warm water at the surface, you go up a couple of thousand feet and you're below zero, if not even colder. Either way, that's going to create what we call steep lapse rates. And this lake effect snow event we're seeing right now, I think, is just the beginning of what will be many more to come. There's the cold air that's across Alaska. Look at these temperatures, 40 to 30 below zero here across the Northwest Territories into Alaska, into interior sections. It's actually going to warm up across Alaska as we get that ridge that starts to build here sometime around the 5th, the 6th, and the 7th. Cross-polar flow going here. We've got a lot of ice that's built up here across the Arctic Sea, a low here, and then there's your flow just like that. You can trace it out, if, and you can see how it's all coming up here from Alaska, diving south into the U.S. Some of that cold air is getting reinforced across the pole here. So if you have your cyclonic flow here, your polar vortex, if you will, just funneling that cold air down into southeast Canada into the 11th, the 12th, and the 13th. So this looks to me, again, it's a pattern. And when you look at these long-range outlooks, what well, looks cold to me. Let's track a few individual storms. I wouldn't certainly put my money in the bank and say it's going to be snowy at this certain time other than Maybe the next couple of days as we head through the weekend, we've got a weak system that will bring some snow, a stripe of snow here across parts of Indiana, Illinois, into the Appalachians. The lake effect snow machine will continue adding up in feet over the next couple of days. And look, it's not going to stop. A weak clipper system drops in from the northwest. That's going to bring a chance of more snow in and around the Great Lakes. It's going to reinforce that lake effect snow machine, and it's going to possibly put some snow into the northeast. I think it's going to be tough to get snow down into the cities. Behind this, this is a cold area of high pressure building in. As we get toward Friday and Saturday of next weekend, that Arctic air building southeast, so chilly and well below average across the east, warm across the west. Now we're getting into the interesting time. I think around the 9th through about the 13th, give or take a couple of days, watch out here because this is where things start to buckle, if you will. You've had this strong northwest flow. Now you're starting to see high pressure move this way. You're tapping into some moisture here along the Gulf. You're going to get a, a sharp dividing line of the cold air. Do we see a storm? Well, the GFS from this afternoon is trying to develop something. It's been doing that for the last couple of runs. I'm going to go back to last night. I mean, look, there you go. Something developing, and it keeps that northwest flow going. If you go back to an one of the odd runs here, this would be the, the 6Z that came out on Friday showing that storm as well. So my, my thinking is somewhere around the 10th, the 11th, the 12th, we could see some kind of storm in the east. And the snow through next week is no joke here downwind of the lakes. 
four or five, six, maybe even eight feet of snow in some of the favored areas over the next couple of weeks as we get round after round of snow. It's just brutal here. Again, I showed you all of that open water and with a decent cyclonic flow setting up. Look across Canada, our, sh our fair share of snow here too. And I've heard from some folks, especially into the far northern states last year, you know, you didn't get much snow at all. I think this year is already starting to be a little bit different. All right, that's all I got for now. If this is not the most recent video, you can check that out. It's right here in front of my face. I will see you over there.